Hi, my name is John Kilpatrick. I'm a principal and senior technical director here at RWDI. And I'm here in one of our world-renowned wind tunnels today to talk to you about why you might need to do wind tunnel testing on your project. Not every building or structure is going to require wind tunnel testing, but there may be several reasons why it's prudent or even necessary to consider. The most obvious reason might be if you require wind tunnel testing to satisfy a zoning application or permit. For example, you may need to do wind microclimate studies to ensure that there's a safe and habitable public realm or space around the base of your building. If you're already going into the wind tunnel to do that type of study, it may also be prudent to consider looking at wind loads on the building facade, as well as wind loads for the overall structural design. Another common reason you may need to undertake a wind tunnel study is when standard codes and their non-complex geometries don't really apply to your building. You may need to think beyond the code. If your building is particularly tall, uh, slender perhaps, or has unusual geometry, if the surroundings of the building are complex, it may lead to channeling or accelerated wind flows. If obstructions upstream of, the, of your study building might cause a buffeting or interference effects in their wake, which can actually amplify the response of the building, or the shape of the building is known to be one which has high vortex-induced across wind responses. When doing a wind study, it's important to partner with a collaborative wind engineering consultant who has the expertise and the tools to accurately simulate and understand the complexity of the wind. To ensure your wind tunnel study is accurate, the study must use an atmospheric boundary layer simulation and not be done in smooth or uniform flow. The wind velocity and turbulence characteristics that are anticipated at the site must be replicated and they must be correct from ground to the top of the boundary layer. Your building and the surrounding buildings must be precisely modeled at scale. And the instrumentation used in the wind tunnel study must be capable of measuring all the desired load effects for the design of the cladding and or structural system of the building. A wind consultant's input can ensure a cost-effective, efficient, and successful design that considers all of the impacts of wind.